Today we're breaking down 100 fast fire tips to become a pro in Satisfactory Update 8, covering everything from starter tips to advanced tips, and I'm hoping to do it in less than 10 minutes. So do let me know how many of these you got out of the 100 in the comments below. Let's get that timer started. First, hold control and then use the mouse wheel to adjust walkway orientations against one another. You can then snap foundations to these to create curves. When exploring, you can collect biomass by holding E to auto gather it, and you can also auto handcraft by pressing spacebar once when handcrafting. Holding E also brings up a dial of associated buildables when building, and holding R brings up a radial of different build modes. Now, if you hold E with a foundation in hand, then left click or right click, you can actually see different materials for that as well, if you've unlocked them. And you can straighten up minor outputs by snapping a barrier to the front and then adding two walkways and snapping a foundation to it. You can also place down barriers and replace them with a wall by holding control, and you can use this to create cavity walls for running electrical wires cleanly. Surprisingly also, sliding followed by jumping is much faster than running in this game. You can also view items in storage by hovering your delete tool over it, and you can unlock decorational items by purchasing them in the awesome shop. You can get coupons for this by sinking excess items, and you can get more by collecting alien materials when you're exploring, then producing and sinking alien DNA. You can build sample items that you're looking at by pressing the middle mouse button and holding control when placing foundations in nature snaps the foundations to the world grid. Holding control on top of a foundation and using the mouse wheel rotates foundations if you have them selected and you can snap foundations to barriers and walkways and you can create lights by turning up the emission on a blank colored sign. Also use signs as walls for a different textured wall. Clip walls into signs to create interesting shapes and hold alt and use the mouse wheel to scroll through your hotbars. You can then set the key bind to save hologram to hotbar to add items directly to the hotbar whilst building. You can also press R when dismantling to dismantle blueprints. And in this mode, you can also use the middle mouse button to copy blueprints. All right, pause the timer. I need a coffee break. And we all know that fix it, love coffee. And no, I'm not talking about my satisfactory merch affiliate link. No, today I wanted to talk to you briefly about my love for coffee and more importantly, how me and my wife Edna have just launched our passion project, which is an online coffee store. It's simply snug coffee. .co.uk. We currently have four specialist blends available and we're hoping to add some single origins, teas and hot chocolates in the future. So if you are in the UK and you love freshly roasted coffee, why not check out my favorite blend at the moment, which is Homemaker. This is a lovely medium roasted coffee with notes of pecan toffee and milk chocolate. It's like bonfire night in a cup and it's perfect with the AeroPress. And if you do order our coffee via the subscription service, you can get 10% off. And I should mention with it being Christmas, if you order within the next two, three weeks, perhaps I'll even send you a Christmas card with it. But enough of that, let's get back to the tips. Restart the timer. Pipes have a max head lift. You can see this when placing pumps. You can skip head lift problems by packaging your liquids first, and you can add paint swatches to the hot bar for easy painting of your factory. Now the Fix It factory swatch is the default color of your factory and tools. You can change that and it'll change all of them. And any swatch used and then change to a different color will change the items that were placed down with that. Except for the custom swatch. Changing this swatch will not change placed item colors. You can use smart splitters in place of splitters with the overflow setting to create scaling lines. You can block lights with items to add depth 
with shadows and you can use N to search items and recipes. Alternately, you can also use N as a calculator and you can also select buildables from this without actually going into the menu. You can hold control when placing buildables to snap them in line with other buildables. You can also create 90 degree curves by placing a conveyor pole two steps in front and then two to the side of where you have your conveyor. You can change hologram color in the user face options. Doggos can be tamed by giving them a pale berry and stroking them. You can fly on the manta ray and you won't die falling if you have a full health bar. Changing the game to passive or retaliation is a great way to play the game if you dislike the monotony of combat or combat in general. You can also hide spiders with cats by activating arachnophobia mode or failing that you can remove spiders completely in the advanced settings under creatures. You can also place your blueprints when building in categories so you can then use E to open up the dial to select any of them in that category. You can also upgrade buildables by placing another tier of that item above them and you can snap mergers and splitters to belts and you can also snap them to elevators and you can extend conveyor lifts or conveyor elevators by snapping them to a floor hole much further above the max limit. Also, if you are finding this video helpful, please do hit the thumbs up. It means a lot to me. Now, if you want to give your pipes 90 degree curves, you can select the horizontal to vertical build mode when holding R. Rails also hold power, so you can connect train stations to other factories in order to have power spread throughout your world. When exploring, you can find crash sites and unlock lock them to get hard drives which will unlock alternate recipes and when exploring you can take items with you to build biogens for drop pods because you will need power to unlock a few of them. You can copy and paste recipes from machines with Control c and Control v and don't worry too much about the efficiency of your factories, just quickly automate everything that you have available and store everything so that you can easily unlock hub tiers later on. You can now place pipes and conveyors on ceilings and with the dismantle tool out, hold control to multi-delete items and when multi-deleting, press G to toggle to only delete the specified item. You can also specify multiple items throughout a single delete. Just press G to reselect a different item while you're doing that. You can snap pillars to beams to create some beautiful architecture. And when transferring items, hold control and left click to transfer all of that type to the other inventory. You can also double click a stack to transfer just that one stack or use shift left click to transfer just that stack. Right clicking will split Split the stacks and hold right click to separate stacks to a given ratio of your liking. You can also use the priority power switch in update 8 to create circuits so that not all the factories will turn off during a power outage. You can also place power production circuits on the first circuit so it will always be prioritized during an outage. Blueprints are also a massive time saver, make sure to use them. You can create lighting blueprints for easy lighting, create decor blueprints for complex decorations and the fastest way to place foundations in your world is actually with a 4x4 foundation blueprint. Alternately, you can use the Zoop build mode which allows you to place up to 10 foundations or walls at once and you can place water extractors on foundations to snap in place or snap extractors to pipe supports. Now if you've got this far, make sure to subscribe for more satisfactory content. Now if you're doing rails to place straight rails and make sure that you place straight bracing sections between your curves otherwise it will go wibbly wobbly. For 90 degree rail turns you need a 3x3 three three L shape of foundation. You can then place it down the rail in two 45 degree curves for the tightest 90 degree turn. When it comes to junctions, place pathing signals into all of the junctions entrances and use a block signal on all of the exits. As of update eight, you can destroy fart rocks with Nobelisk. You can lock and nudge buildables by pressing H and then using the arrow keys and you can nudge in half increments by holding control. You can also hold control to twist your beams and pillars and use logistic floors to keep your factory floors clean. By having them underneath, 
you can walk without any issues. Use containers or stackable conveyor poles for early game ladders and the jetpack can now use different fuels. Select the fuel priority in the inventory slot and buildables are 100% refundable. So when you are exploring, take building resources with you for things like bridges. Overclocking your factories uses exponentially more power so that makes it less efficient to do it. And underclocking is exponentially more power efficient. If you're doing a big build, I recommend using planners like satisfactorytools.com to help plan them. And you should break down larger builds into smaller factories so that you don't burn out. When it comes to your pipes, valves reset head lift. Do remember that. Pillars also allow free placement. Add a walkway to your pillar at whichever point and then snap foundations to them to create stairways. You can add pillars and beams to walls to create more depth in your build rather than have a flat factory. And conveyor floors are great for speeding up walking around your factory. Add power poles to power lines to instantly connect them. You can also connect wires to an upgraded power pole or joint, which will automatically use the tiered pole you selected when placing next. You can hold control with walls and windows to replace other walls, and you can use different foundation heights and down ramps to create architectural frames around your roofing. Now if you are tired of the base game I do highly recommend checking out the mods manager there are plenty to choose from and don't be discouraged by experienced players factories. Have fun and play the game your way and despite these tips know you'll make mistakes just like I did in this video where I had one hour to build a 40 gigawatt power plant. But guys thanks for watching Watching and thank you to all of our amazing patrons, most notably our solo clips patrons James Irwin, Fireless, and Treble, as well as our Lunas, the Calamity, Ben Star, and that dude AW, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is the Viking Brit. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.